Hi there, it's Martha and I'm doing a different kind of video today. So this one is Friday Faves and what I wanted to do is create um, maybe a series. I don't think it's going to be every week. It may be every other week or twice a month we'll have on Friday a video where I share some of my favorites. Sometimes there may be five, so Friday's five favorites or sometimes there may be one or two um, but it's an opportunity for me to go a little deeper into a specific product or just share other things other than wax because I watch a lot of videos on YouTube. I watch makeup, I watch perfume videos, I watch productivity videos, all those kinds of things. So um, this is maybe a better way for you to get to know me a little bit and some of the things that I like. And I like hearing other people's favorites. So please share your favorites in the comments. Like what is something you're loving lately? Something you've tried? It could be anything. It could be a book you read. It could be, um, it could be wax. Um, it could be a vendor. So I'd really uh, love to hear what your thoughts are and I wanted to share mine and today I do happen to have five so we'll start off with five and let's get into that and I'll start off with Scentsy. My first favorite or highlight uh, for this week and uh, for a while is Cozy Cardigan. So this is a scent that is currently on sale. It's part of the fall and winter catalog and this has um, Blushing Rose, Suede, and Amber. I will say I don't really smell like the rose, so the Blushing Rose is also a note that is in Pineapple Rose, and for me that was a very, very strong rose. I don't get, so if you don't like rose, and if you've never smelled this one, it's a really pretty scent. Very pretty, it's soft, um, it's a little perfumey, and, but not, not a lot, so I think it's just a really soft, pretty, um, blend and the reason I'm, I chose this today as a favorite is because it's beautiful on its own absolutely beautiful on its own this is a bedroom scent so it's light so if you don't like a heavy scent um, you know this isn't like an open concept not that I've tried but I really like it in the bedroom I think it's a bedroom scent but you can smell it it's pretty but what I also like about Cozy Cardigan and what to me makes this even special is on its own, I melt it on its own all the time, but it's a great mixer. I think a lot of times we hear using like vanilla buttercream or sugar cookie and for those bakery notes, but I think this is a great mixer for other things. So this past week I mixed it with Berry Blessed. Uh, this is a very um, kind of a sweet and tart berry. And I also like this on its own, but together these were really nice. And I think what Cozy Cardigan does is it just softens it. It doesn't tone the scent down. It just brings out a different scent. And so I like this as a mix. I also try this with um, Winterberry Apple Tea, which again is a beautiful scent on its own, but it just offered something different. So um, sometimes by the end of the season, you know, when it's been six months of kind of the same catalog, same sense. I like to start playing around and mixing things just to kind of get something new. And I think this is just a great, um, great option to try to mix with other maybe perfumery scents, perfumer, perfumery, <laughs> perfume-like scents, um, or some that um, just have a little bit of that. So try it and uh, give it a try, maybe one cube and one cube, or if you don't want to do that, you could do it in different warmers and just see if together those scents, if, you're, if you don't want to potentially ruin um, two cubes of, of two different bars, you can also use alternating warmers and trying um, you know, two different scents in a, in close proximity, but I just wanted to kind of call out Cozy Cardigan. Um, it's on sale right now and it's going away. I, yeah, it is going away um, when the spring end catalog um, products come in, but it's my highlight, I'd say, for, for the week or a spotlight. The other one I wanted to spotlight, spotlight, so now we're moving to Vendor Wax, is Harper James Sleigh Ride. This was not in my monthly melting basket, but the other night I um, was on the Harper James website. It was like 11 o'clock at night, which I know is trouble. <laughs> I'm bored, I'm not tired. And, uh, and I had just finished um, that day cleaning up kind of the guest room and clearing things out and organizing all my wax, kind of taking it out of the, the shipper boxes and putting them all in a home. And here I was on the website, I'm like, why, why am I looking for more wax when I just 
stuffed the drawers um, with wax. And so what I did was I stopped. I'm like, I, I'm going to, the willpower though was, ugh, I needed it. Um, and I walked away. I'm going to, I'm going to go smell the Harper James that I have. <laughs> and then as I was looking through there, um, there was Sleigh Ride. And this one is Berries Ice Champagne and Pink Sugar. This is a light scent. It didn't really work in my open concept, but it's it's smelling very nicely here in the bedroom. But the other reason I picked this out was because, I guess my point is what I'm saying. My point on looking for th things is this is called Sleigh Ride. So you would think it's Christmassy, like I'll save it for next year. But my point is look through some of your scents, whether they're vendor or scentsy. And even though, um, they may be in the fall or in a specific season and you're like a, a, a mood melter. Um, the notes of berry, ice champagne, and pink sugar, I'm like, that's perfect for right now. It's February. It's like Valentine's month. Um, so if it wasn't called Sleigh Ride, uh, this would be a really great scent uh, to warm in February. So my point is go in and look and see what you have. Don't let the titles of names fool you like winter this or winter that or um, maybe something summery. Um, it could be just looking at the notes perfect for right now. So anyway, Sleigh Ride is kind of that. So sticking with a little bit of a pink pink in theme for February. Uh, and then um, Trader Joe's. So moving on to food. I love Trader Joe's. I don't go as often because it's it's about 15 minutes away, which isn't bad, but I literally have like Lucky's and Safeway, like walking distance from me. So I don't go to Trader Joe's all that often, but when I do, I always find something I love. And so I'm highlighting mochi, the strawberry mochi. Um, when I eat savory foods or spicy foods or like Chinese food or Mexican food, I always, I always want something like ice cream or a little sweet after I eat. Um, and this, these are like individually wrapped and it's mochi ice cream. And if you're not familiar with mochi, mochi is like a little ball of ice cream, just like in this picture. <laughs> um, there's two there, one's open or cut in half so you can see the inside. Um, this one has strawberry ice cream inside and then it's covered by like rice dough. So it's this kind of soft dough um, that's encompassing the entire little ice cream ball um, and it's individually wrapped and it just was the perfect amount to just get, you know, get rid of that or um, feed that craving of a little something sweet after eating some spicy or savory food. So um, I just have one and it hits the spot and these were really good. So I wanted to highlight the mochi strawberry ice cream from, or strawberry um, from Trader Joe's. And then last but not least, I like to read a lot and I read, oh gosh, like 55 books last year. And I think the year before that I read like 70 something books um, and I started kind of losing, just not reading as often as I used to, but a book that kind of got me back into uh, reading this month um, was this one called The Local. And this is by Joey Hartstone. And this book is a legal thriller. So I haven't read a legal thriller probably since I mean, I have, I guess I read a couple last year, but I mean, I used to love them, especially when John Grisham first came out, like The Firm and Pelican Brief and all of those. I used to really love legal thrillers. So I really hadn't read one in a while, um, but this was a good one. I mean, I give it like a three and a half, 3.75 stars out of five, um, but this is by Joey, Hart Joey Hartstone. I believe he also wrote the book he did, right? Um, well, maybe not. No, that's some, some, someone else. I was going to say Defending Jacob, but no, I think that's a different author that just wrote a, a little blurb on the front cover. But this is a legal thriller um, that takes place in Texas. Um, a, mur a judge is murdered uh, and then basically a patent lawyer for reasons that will come out in the book uh, is ends up being the defense lawyer for the accused uh, murderer. Uh, so yeah, so it was a good book uh, and it was one of those where I just kind of needed a page turner. Um, there's a couple things I didn't care for, which is why I didn't give it like a five star or four star. Um, but there are minor things, you know, like a, a character in this book keeps being referred to as the leg and like stuff like that just got a little bit annoying. Um, but overall, um, yeah, it kept me up until one thirty one one night when I was kind of reading the last 30 pages or so. So anyway, that is my book. Uh, so, and, and I have one more thing cause I did say five, right. Um, and then bonfire bash from, 
Bath and Body Works. So the reason I'm spotlighting this particular fragrance is because this is a great, again, kind of like Cozy Cardigan, a great layering fragr fragrance. So this has notes of vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, cashmere musk. Um, and it's got a little bit of smokiness to it. And I like mixing it with sweet whiskey. I like mixing it with just about anything. I'm trying to think. Um, uh, is it uh, Twilight Woods? Um, I think I've mixed it with um, like Christmas cookie. So pretty much any other Bath and Body Works fragrance mist. I think this mix is great with it. I did it with Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin back in the fall. Um, so this will probably be the next one I use up, but uh, just a special call out to Bonfire Bash um, from Bath and Body Works. I don't know that this is available anymore, but it seems to come back every fall. Um, so if you have it, just try mixing it with other fragrances as well. So that is my Friday faves. I hope you enjoy this. And again, please share your favorites. What's What are you loving this week? Um, it would be great. I'm sure everyone else would love to know as well. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.